Kazzy Zahersky, children's book author and illustrator, and today I'll be reading a super imaginative and creative story about an elephant who escapes the zoo and finds its way into a six-year-old's bathroom. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below me to your right to follow along to more great stories like the one we're about to read. All right, shall we begin? There's an Elephant in the Bathroom, written by Effie Davis, illustrated by Monica Marzak. Ah! What was that? Emmett jumped to his feet. Addie, did you hear that? Addie yawned. Ooh. It was awfully Ooh. early for Emmett to be this excited. I think it came from the bathroom. It sounded like an elephant trumpeting. Emmett paused for a moment. Ah! It is! gasped Emmett. There's an elephant in the bathroom. Hang on! What's going on in there? Ah! Quick, Addy, we've got to catch that elephant before it wakes up dead! Oof! agreed Addy. Emmett sighed. It couldn't have gone far. Let's search for clues. Wow, an elephant here in the bathtub. Good work, Addie. Praised Emmett as he examined it closer. Addie kept her distance this time. Emmett smiled. Elephants love water. They'll even use their trunks like giant water blasters to spray it all over themselves. What a fun way to take a shower. Addie grunted. <laughs> she could never imagine a shower being fun. Rumble! It's in the living room! exclaimed Emmett. Rumble! Wait a minute! Elephants rumble to talk to one another. There aren't any other elephants in the house, are there? Rumble! Dad's not going to be happy if he wakes up to find a herd of elephants in the living room. Let's go, Addy! Ruff! Addy replied. Trap! We missed it again! Huffed Emmett. Hmm, the elephant must have stepped on the remote. It probably thought the elephant on TV was real. Suddenly, something moved under the couch fort. Addie whipped her head around on high alert, and Emmett's gaze followed. Shh, it's the elephant, Emmett whispered as he crept closer. I got you, yelled Emmett. Whoa, oh, oh. Thud. <sighs> I'm okay, Addie, grumbled Emmett. The balloon broke my fall. Roar, <laughs> and shuddered. Roar when there's an emergency. To the kitchen! Hurry, Addy! Oof! Addy bellowed. Holy cow! What a mess! Or should I say, holy elephant? And chuckled. <laughs> hey, Addy, did you know elephants eat over 300 pounds of food a day? Addy was too busy licking peanut butter off the floor to answer. Emmett added, elephants are herbivores. That means they only eat plants. Yikes! If it eats all this, it's going to have a stomachache. Addie gulped. <coughs> they were going to need a bigger poop scooper. <coughs> that sounded like it came from the bathroom under the stairs, said Emmett. <coughs> Reaching for the doorknob, Emmett quietly counted. One, two, three, aha! Dad? Uttered Emmett. Emmett? Oh, I thought you were still sleeping, Dad mumbled. Oh man, I guess I ruined the surprise. Surprise? You knew about the elephant? Flirted Emmett. Elephant? 
No, I made peanut butter pancakes, your favorite, explained Dad. After my shower, <coughs> I tried tidying up the living room, but I got hungry. Rumble, rumble. So I thought I'd surprise you with a delicious breakfast. But then I heard a loud pop and spilled coffee all over myself. It probably sounded like there was a lion in the house. Roar! <laughs> Dad joked. And it laughed. Or an elephant! An elephant, huh? Questioned Dad. I didn't know they could roar. Hey, how about the two of us have a dude's day today? We could go to the zoo and you can teach me everything you know about elephants. What do you say? Yeah! Shouted Emmett. Oh! Sang Addie. What were you saying earlier about a surprise elephant? Dad asked. Oh, nothing! Emmett smiled as he took another bite of his peanut butter pancake. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed There's an Elephant in the Bathroom as much as I did. And I will see you next time! Bye, Circle Time friends! Yeah.